In this video, we are going to solve this question. Given the expression is a perfect square, then we want to solve for n. Here, n is a natural number. So first, let's set the expression equal to a perfect square. So here we have n to the fourth minus 4 n to the third plus 22 n squared then minus 36 n plus 18. It's a perfect square, so equal to a, let's say, y squared. So here, y is a natural number. Okay. So then the next step, we're going to reorganize the left-hand side. Okay, so now let's see. So first, n to the fourth minus 4 n to the third. So if we have one more term, like a 4 n squared, so then we can make it complete square. So here we have 22 n squared. So then here we still have 18 n squared. Then the rest of the terms. So then we're going to combine these three together. So now let's see. So then equals n squared minus 2n then whole thing squared. So then for these two, let's take out the common factor 18. So then here we have n squared minus 2n, then these two terms. So now let's take a look. You see here, n squared minus 2n, here n squared minus 2n. So that's why we're going to set a new variable x equals n squared minus 2n to simplify the expression. Okay, so then here we have the first one, x squared, the second one, 18x, then the other two terms. Then we want to make a complete square again. So here, 18 equals 2 times 9. 9 squared is 81. So plus 81, then minus 81. Then combine these three together. Then we have x plus 9 squared. So these two minus 63 y squared. Then we want to solve for x and y. So both sides minus y squared both sides plus 63. And here minus y squared, then equals 63. Then put them as a product. So then here we have x plus 9 minus y, then x plus 9 plus y equals 63. Because a product equals 63, so then there are three possibilities. So let's see here. So then here we have x plus 9 minus y. Then second one, x plus 9 plus y. There are three possibilities. First, 1 times 63 is 63. That's the first case. The second case. 3 times 21, that's 63. The third one, 7 times 9, that's 63. So then we have three cases. So now let's set up an equation to solve for x or y for each case. OK, so let's see the first case. Because x plus 9 minus y, so this one plus y. So the first factor is smaller than here. So that's why the first one equals a smaller number. So then the second factor equals uh, the, the 63. Okay, so then here we have the first factor equals 1. Then the second factor equals 63. Then solve the system. So we have x equals 23. Then y equals 31. Both of them are natural numbers. So that's the 
the first set of a solution. So now let's work on the second case. So second case, again, x plus 9 minus y equals the smaller number, 3. Then x plus 9 plus y equals 21, the bigger number. Then the, we got a solution, x equals 3. Then y equals 9. That's second set of solution. So now let's see the third case. So third case here, x plus 9 minus y equals 7. Then the second factor equals 9. Then solve the system, x equals negative 1, y equals 1. So that is the third solution. Okay, so then our goal is to solve for n. So now let's see what is the n. So here we set x equals n squared minus 2n. So we're going to use this to solve for n. So let's write down here. So here we have x equals n squared minus 2n. So we're going to solve for n. So let's see the first case. First case, x equals 23. Okay, then here, the first case, x equals 23. Then put here, we have n squared minus 2n equals 23. Then both sides plus 23, minus 23. Then use the quadratic formula. So we have equals so here just negative negative 2 then here inside negative 2 squared then minus 4 times a times c so c is negative 23 then divided by 2a so then simplify here we have 2 then here we have inside the 96 96 is 4 times 24 divided by 2. So then we have n equals 1 plus minus square root 24. But then 1 plus minus square root 24 does not belong to natural number set. So that's not a solution. Okay, so now let's see the second case. So second case here, x equals 3. Okay, then here x equals 3. Then here we have n squared minus 2n equals 3. Then n squared minus 2n minus 3 equals 0. Then do the factoring. Then we have here. So then there are two solutions. n equals 3 or a equals negative 1. But then for here, it's not a natural number. So it's not a solution. So then the solution is a equals 3. So now let's see the third case. So third case, x equals negative 1. Okay, so now let's see the third case. Third case, x equals negative 1. That is the n squared minus 2n equals 91. So that's n squared minus 2n plus 1 equals 0. So this make a complete square. Square equals 0. So then the solution is n equals 1. So 1 is a natural number. So that's why. So there are two solutions. 1 is n equals 3. Another one, n equals 1. So that's why the final answer for this question is n equals 1 or n equals 3. So that's the final answer for this question. Thanks for watching. See you next time.